Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in unit 7, lesson 3, part 5. It says run this program to see how it works. Notice that the longest word function simply returns the word unknown. It tells us to write code for the longest word function using the comments and the code for shortest word to help. When it works correctly, this program should print the names of the longest state and dog names. Let's go to begin by running the program just to see what happens. It says there are many states, but the one with the shortest name is Iowa and the one with the longest name is unknown. It says there are many dogs, but the one with the shortest name is pug and the one with the longest name is unknown. So let's go ahead and look through this code. We're going to fix this section at the end for unknown. The first thing that I see is that we have two variables being created. The first is called state names and it's getting information from a table. If we click data, we can see that we have two different tables here. Let's go ahead and look at states. We see it's a pretty simple table and what it has is state names, some abbreviations and websites and different things. It's looking at this first column here, the state name, and it's pulling that information. If we look at the dogs table, we have something similar. We have the dog name and some other information for each of the dogs. The one we're going to focus on is this first column for name. So for both of these variables, it's being populated with the information found in that first column. Then we see a function call on line four and on line five called longest shortest. And then we have two different arguments being passed through. The function call is for longest shortest. So if we look here, function, this is the longest shortest. We see those two arguments being passed through. Within this function, we have a variable being created called message, and it's equal to the string there are many plus type of list. For this first one, it would be states. The next line of code takes what was just put in that variable and then adds to it. It says message, which is right here, what was just put in, plus but the one with the shortest name is, and then it adds this function call, and it's passing along list. So we had it here, it's being passed here. Now we need to look at the shortest word function and see what's going on there. So that gets passed down to here. In this function, we see variable shortest being created, and it's set to index zero. In the states list, that would have been Alabama at index zero. So that word now populates the shortest variable. It then runs a for loop, var i set at zero, and then it's going to use that variable to compare variable with the length of that entire list. Each time it runs through this loop, it's going to add one to the variable until that number is no longer less than the length of the list. So what will end up happening is this function will compare every single state against the other states to look for the criteria that's down below. And that is if the length of the state name is shorter than the state in the shortest as far as characters is concerned. So in that first entry, it's comparing the length of Alabama with Alabama. That obviously is not true, so it does not do anything here. It then runs back to the beginning. It looks at the next one. The next entry would have been Alaska. As it runs through here is the length of Alaska character wise. Is that less than Alabama's length? It is. So Alaska would then be put in as the shortest variable. And it would continue to do that again until it gets to the end of the list. Once it finds that, for this, it says Iowa. Right here at the very end, it returns the shortest variable, which is Iowa. It pushes it back here to this function, and that completes this part of this line of code. But then we see that this is now replaced into here, and we run through the next part of this. Message, which up to this point is there are many states, but the one with the shortest name is Iowa that gets put into here and then we're adding the string in the one with the longest name is and then we're looking at the longest word function call that gets pushed down to this function. Currently there's not anything in here other than a return back to the original statement with the text unknown. What we're going to do here is we're just going to build out this function and we're told we should use this function as a template for what we're going to do. We should look at our notes. It says that it finds the longest word in a list. The list is made up of text strings. And then we're going to return a string. 
Let's go ahead and begin copying what they did above. The first thing we're going to do is go to variables. We're going to create and declare a variable. We'll do longest. And that's going to be equal to our list at index zero. We're then going to create a for loop. We need to change this section here to be list.length. Within this for loop, we're going to go ahead and create an if. Our if is going to be this, except for we're going to flip this comparator. This needs to be greater than. What do we want to happen if this is true? Well, we want to update the variable here longest. So we're going to go back to variables. We'll drag that in. Now that we've completed that, we have one other thing that we need to do. Currently, it's returning the value of unknown. We want it to return the variable that we just created longest. Let's go ahead and rerun our code to see if it works. We see at the end of our sentences that there is a value now and no longer says unknown. This assignment really wasn't too tricky. The parts that you're probably still struggling with is function calls and passing arguments to functions along with returning that value. Something else that we've only done a little bit of is looking at string lengths. Once you've played around with this a little bit and you feel comfortable with the content of this lesson, make sure you click finish.